All right, guys, I just got out of the Sam Samyot MRT station. This is in Chinatown. And uh, we're gonna go check out a giant toy, toy mall. I like to um, always get an iced tea here because it's only 19 baht, which is basically half the price of everyone else. Granted, I, this is some really low grade tea, but I actually like it. And you can get boba and stuff like that if you want. Go to Obicha, they're located all over Bangkok. Here's the entrance to Mega Plaza, it's Christmas time. And then yeah, there we go, it's a pretty tall building. Alright, I just finished lunch here at the food, food center on the top of the Mega Plaza. Let's take a walk around, we're on the top floor, so now we're going to walk down and loop our way through this building here. Today is a Monday, it's around 12 o'clock on a Monday, so some shops aren't open. I think, uh, you know, there aren't enough uh, people skipping school, so there aren't enough customers on a Monday. But still, <coughs> we do have a lot of shops that we can check out. So, like, yeah, this shop here isn't open on the Monday, I guess. They seem to be selling, like, Funko Pops. This shop's all about Legos. This shop is all about designer vinyl toys. Look at these things. They got the big stuff too. That's a big toy right there. These designer figures. <clears throat> Kubrick bears. Astro Boy. Over here, what do we have? Giant bears. I'm not going to go into this shop, you get an idea though, they pretty much sell all the fancy, fancy vinyl stuff here. Now this shop, talking like some fancy giant uh, figures, I don't know, but they're statues I guess, they don't move. Six action figures. Most interesting uh, caricature figures. One six figures. And there's bathrooms back here. If you need to go to the bathroom. Statues. You need a full size stormtrooper. Okay. <clears throat> Let's 
Do a quick walk through the fifth floor. This is the sixth floor. Let's head down to the number five. Okay, on the fifth floor, Gangnam, we have mostly remote control toys, RC trucks, and stuff like that. I think a lot of shops are closed because it's a Monday. Interesting, there's a watch shop. Some designer toys. Some expensive toys. Look at this, giant large format statues. Yeah, so really intricate, pretty intricate statues of these guys. The video game shop over there. Some RC boats, tanks. If you're into playing card games, there's a bunch, this is a little card game section. Magic the Gathering or whatever it, games these guys play these days, I don't know. This whole cabinet of what I'm going to guess are the expensive limited cards. And then yeah, people can get here, gather around and actually play their games. <coughs> on, on the weekends there's a lot of people here. There you go, more cards, some figures in here. <coughs> some 10 scales and 116 scale tanks. These things are awesome. Look how weathered they are. Helicopters, airplanes, racing semi trucks are cool. But really, these tanks are where it's at. Oh, so yeah, if you want to get to airplanes. These are really popular construction vehicles, Queena RCs. Oh, and uh, even Kyosho Mini Zs. Those are some really uh, accurate scale models. But they're remote controlled scale models. Oh, the big Kyosho USA 1. I think I had that when I was a kid. <coughs> it's a very great shop. A great variety of stuff. Here we got some drift cars, 10 scale drifts. Some drones. Mm, big truck. Holy moly. We gotta look at this thing. I can me. Wow. These are awesome. And then even the construction equipment. Very cool. Look at the D 
details on this thing. It's a very cool shop. Got a lot of great stuff here. And then if you want to have custom cabinets made, there's an acrylic cabinet shop here. More of these tanks. Okay, so even though this is a cabinet shop, they seem to have some classic toys they're selling here. What the hey? Look at this skateboard. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, let's go down to the fourth floor. If you like NECA toys, this is like a NECA toy shop here. They got everything from NECA. Cartoonish horror figures, Back to the Future stuff. This Doc Brown is awesome looking. So well done. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I didn't even know they had figures in these. Megadeth, Iron Maiden. They live, that's awesome. This a movie. Look, that's in Thai bath. ET. Pan's Labyrinth. That was a cool movie. Some really crazy creatures in that movie. Halloween. Jason. Freddy Krueger's. Predators. So, if you like NECA toys, this is definitely the shop you want to come to. They have everything. Absolutely everything. So, this is on the fourth floor. Oh, the big diorama street scene. And uh, this is disturbing. The full size Pennywise. Official Ban Presto shop here. If you're into uh, these figures, do a quick walk through. Bunch of Nerf guns. 
so yeah. Wrestling figures. So this shop here, they very they sell all the knockoff, the counterfeit toys, on over here. The vast selection. Mezco Mezco counterfeits, but they're quite pretty good actually. These are real though. These are real, not fake. I don't think. So you get some display cabinets and stuff. So I think these are all counterfeit knockoffs of 1-6 scale figures. Some deformation figures. Now we're getting to the uh, used use cabinets. Before I show you that, this is a bunch of hot toys in here. Art scale. Okay, so over here we have all the uh, rental cabinets. So these are people that literally rent out the cabinet and they're selling off their personal collections. So you'll see the stickers all have prices on them in Thai Bot. And uh, some of the prices are crazy, but every now and then you'll find a pretty good deal. So this is one floor that has these cabinets. Here we go, there's some uh, die-cast vehicles, which I'm all about. Got some mini GTs, you know, we got Shukos, Tamikas. But it's mostly all action figures. That's what uh, the Thai people like figures. Got some soccer cards, though, football cards. <clears throat> so you have different, you know, since these are all personal collections, a lot of good mixes. This guy's all about Japanese animes and action figures. This person's all about Godzilla's. This guy's all about Japanese Godzilla and Ultraman sort of stuff. Back to the future stuff. It's all those Funko Pops and Marvel Legends. Looks like Disney kind of princesses. But down here, this an interesting mix. Cute figures, then Star Trek, and then motorcycles, and then cartoon cars. So as I say, it's all like personal collections, so quite an eclectic mix of stuff here. cabinets here then pretty much I have to go pretty fast or this video is just gonna be too long this one's cool super deformed star Star Wars figures so if you want to buy something out of these figures you just flag one of the workers down they're always running around saying you can check out stuff you just point to the cabinet they'll open it up you can uh, touch and feel the toy inspect it and then obviously if you want it, just buy it. You can actually pay by cash or even uh, use a bank transfer. They have like a QR code. Soccer fan here. 
for a football fan. Whoa, I haven't seen this. A bunch of airplanes. These cabinets change every week or two. There's always something new, you know, people close out their their rental cabinet and then someone else comes in with something totally different. So I spend a lot of time here. I've probably been here like a hundred times. Well, all right, maybe not that many times, but at least 50 times. Always looking for something cool, something, a lot of stuff might be 40 years old. It's so I literally see toys that I used to play with when I was a little child. Evangelion. Total little animals if you're caught into that. Pokemon. I bought a few tiny, tiny few models here. And uh, also regular looking models, some Inno 64s. I bought a few from this cabinet. Okay, let's go on. We have another section of cabinets to check out. Oh, this is a totally new store. This wasn't here two weeks ago. Back on this wall, this is a massive die-cast store. All, everything's new, but the person, the smallest models they have are these little, uh, what are these things? Maestros, I think? What you'll see in there, they're mostly like 118 scale, 124 scale, 112 scale maybe. So I don't really buy anything from this shop, but if you're into the larger formats, look at how jam-packed this place is. And then uh, they also sell hobby stuff, like hobby equipment. There's a bunch of model kits there, Gundam kits, and then hobby crafts tools. Okay, let's get around in here. So, some Gundam, Ultraman. If for some reason you like masks, <laughs> there you go. Star Wars cabinet. And a couple of cars, Hot Wheels and stuff. Literally cars from Cars, the Disney movies. I'm not into those. Figures. The Japanese action movies. Figures, some of those cheap gossip on cars. I bought a few there. Plus toys. Dragons. Little miniature buildings. I think that's N scale. 
So I'll show you, there's one shop here that sells like Hot Wheels and stuff. But I find the prices to be expensive, so I almost never buy from these people. Here's some discounted ones. So here on the third floor, we have an uh, airsoft gear shop. So they're not necessarily selling the guns, but they're selling all the armor and clothing and optics and extra magazines and hop-up parts. These are all copycat Lego sets. These are all real uh, DC Comics figures and also Marvel Legends and Star Wars, all the 
stuff made by Hasbro. Transformers. Here's a bunch of Japanese related toys. Legos. I think these are uh, <laughs> Sesame Street Legos. Cool, there's a Mercedes limousines with the King of Thailand. It's about sixty dollars with those figures. Doesn't seem so bad. These are finished model kits, pretty well painted. Yeah. So this cabinet's all about Hot Wheels, but uh, I find them pricey. I never buy from this guy. model kit shop They're making model kits and airsoft is a really big thing here so I mean these things look like real guns but they shoot in little plastic BBs not just pistols you got some rocket RPGs SMGs rifles look at these things these are awesome looking 
You got the John Wick guns here. I'm actually surprised I haven't bought any of these. Oh, an LMG. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's a GE minigun. A Terminator style. World War II guns back behind here. Cast here, but a few. Five turbo for like twelve, thirteen dollars in one forty third scale. It's tempting, but I just don't have room for it. So shop I bought a lot of Kyoshos from in the past. You can see the prices. Some of them are good deals. But some of them are pretty much eBay prices, like a thousand bucks, thirty dollars. Okay, that's it for this floor. We came here on a Monday because uh, even though a lot of shops are closed, if this was the weekend, you wouldn't be able to see any of the toys because there would just be tons of people looking at the cabinets. If you took the people you see today and multiplied it by 10, that's what a weekend looks like. It's this chaos in here. And with COVID, you know, I don't want to do that. Oh, but this shop is awesome. These guys sell the premium grade stuff. 164s, look at these guys. All fuel me's, ignitions. All the resins, resins and high-end die casts. Look at this. Man, that's tempting. This uh, Spoon S2000 is really tempting. And then they sell uh, RC stuff, but also big scale models. Look at these guys. Photochromic awesomeness. Crazy paint jobs. So Auto Art, GT Spirit. Even though it'll 176 Turbo Racing. Look at these, Hoonigan. Bonus eggs. These are all ignition models here, 140, 118 scale. It's got some LCD model motorbikes. I didn't even know they made motorbikes. All the paint stuff because it sells Aoshima kits. Model kits are great. We got some uh, Tamiya RC cars and other branded RC cars. Look at this is a this must be like a 1A scale monster truck. Oh my god, that thing's huge. Okay, some, look at these Aoshima truck kits. Too big for me, 132 scale. But there you can see, there's a big variety of Aoshima model kits, if that's your thing. 
you want to put some of these bodies on your 124 scale RC cars, you know, these are going to be great. Then the paints, uh, motors and electronic speed controllers for RCs, some servos. But now we got some 143rd scale ignition models. Oh, and Tarmac Works Hobbies. A couple other rental cabinets here. Yeah, we saw that before. A bunch of Blu-rays here. Although I don't know, if you bought a Blu-ray in this country, would it work in the US? Maybe, maybe not, because it's, there's different zoning that they put onto the coating, so I'm not sure. You would have to have some sort of an unlocked uh, Blu-ray player. All right, so let's go down another floor. If you like Gundams, here on the second floor, we have D-Toy. And this is a, just a giant Gundam shop here. Check this out. Look at the detail on these things. I mean, this was painted by someone. This is a big model, my hand. So really cool. Crazy paint jobs. Oh my, look at this thing. I built a few Gundam kits, including the perfect grades. They are awesome. Uh, Gundam Bandai makes the most advanced plastic model kits. Well, they're, these are usually friction fit. You don't even need glue. The tolerances are so tight that you can just press fit all these together and then they articulate like an action figure. So that's like a perfect grade, that size. That blue thing back there. Okay, let's go over here. More video games. There's another BB gun shop. Got some rifles, pistols. Very cool. Legos, knockoff Legos. Some scooters, kick scooters, tri -sco tricycles. Another RC shop. It's a lot of repair shops. If your PlayStation or Nintendo breaks down, you can bring it down here and they'll fix it. Bunch of video games again. There's a tiny little shop of little figurines. games some little ride-in cars for little kids another air gun shop this is a manga shop so if you're into Japanese cartoons anime a lot of them actually have uh, English subtitles as well so I've actually bought a few uh, DVDs from here, or Blu-rays. I bought the uh, Star Wars Rebels uh, DVD set here. This is a fancy looking air gun shop. Fancy looking pistols. There's another knockoff Lego store. You know, Legos are ridiculously overpriced. So I can totally understand people buying the knockoffs. Some designer toys. It's not really my thing. I'm not sure why 
someone would want to buy the same mold in just different variations, but... <laughs> There's another airsoft shop, some rifles, bazooka. Look at this rifle, man. This thing is just cool. How it's all machined out. This is all aluminum, like a real gun. Granted, it's probably the cheapest aluminum you can buy, but still, for an airsoft, it's pretty awesome. A PlayStation in action. And here's a giant diecast shop. So if you're into the one, larger scales, like 124 and 118, this is a shop that's right up your alley. 112 scale, I think those motorcycles there. So let's loop around and see the inside. Hey, look at that thing. But yeah, a lot of cool cars. So you can see the stock that they have here. Oh, look at this, a little mystery machine. So a lot of Chinese brands, but also Maisto and Jada. Video games, airsoft. Uh, this is a, a counterfeit slash knockoff action figure shop. So they're definitely not as good as say a real Hot Toys. You can, but you know, if you're gonna give this to a kid, the kid's not gonna know much better. And you can actually play with these things. But I mean, look at this Stan Lee. This is actually a, a coffee cat, but it's actually still a sewn fabric suit. The only thing wrong is the guy's neck is too long. I almost thought about buying that once. It was like $60. Well, let's take a look through here. Super deformed Iron Man. Bunch of model making supplies, paints, brushes. So these are knockoff like figure arts figures. Okay, so that is the second floor. Let's go down to the ground floor. into wargaming, this shop here, Olympia 4, has all the wargaming figures. So these are, you know, people's collections, I think, that they painted. Look at these details. This isn't... So you have to paint these all by yourself. I would probably ask one of these guys how much they would charge to paint. Here's some, uh... Here's a raw figure. So they sell Citadel paints. These are acrylic water-based paints. All the sets of figures. They even have a little gaming room here. Cheap bag shop. You need to buy some clothes for your kids. There's some clothing stores here.
Here's a little cabinet with some uh, Inus and Tarmac Works. And the GTs. So it's mostly action figures. Oh, look at this little Honda Monkey. That'd be like 1-6 scale. figures here. I am going to guess this is a life-size Thanos hand. It's huge. It's really hard to even tell you how big it is, but it's 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 the size of Thanos's hand, I suppose. This would be the Iron Man full size hand. So a grown man's hand and Thanos's hand. That's crazy. That's a quarter scale Boba Fett. If I had room in my place, I would consider getting that. Here's another shop that sells all the Marvel Legends and Hasbro action figures. But truthfully, I think they're overpriced. You'd be better off just buying them in the States because these are all imported, so the price is usually twice as much as usual. But if you can't get you know, an airplane, you don't have much choice. I'm trying to go to this shop here. They sell green lights and uh, yeah, they cost like twice as much as say a Walmart would have it because again, oh importing. Oh Control keys. And two machines.
Another Gundam model shop. Some cheaper toys for kids. <laughs> 